Welcome to Chapter 3, Lesson 1. Hello, kindergartners. We are starting on Chapter 3 today. Yay! So we're on Lesson 3.1, so go ahead and get your new book out. It says Chapter 3 at the top. Represent, count, and write numbers 6 to 9. Oh, nice. Okay. So let's look at this one. The directions read, place a counter on each ticket in the set as you count them. So let's put our counters on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you'll notice we don't just have a five frame anymore. Now we have a 10 frame. So we're going to move the counters into our tin frame and we always start with our first box. So let's move them on in. One, two, three, four, five. We filled up our five frame and then one more makes six. Do you notice I didn't put it here? I didn't put it at the end. I always start from the beginning. Then it says to draw the counters. So what I'm going to do is just take one off at a time and I think I'm going to mark an X on the box. One, two, three, I take them off one at a time, four, five, six. There we go. And if you want to trace your counters, you can do that as well. So there is the number six. And we're going to learn the poem for six as we learn how to write it. Place the counters on each car in the set as you count them. Move the counters to the parking lot and draw the counters. Say the number as you trace it. Okay, so step one, we put our counters on the cars. One, Two, three, four, five, six. Now I chose to use my circle counters, but if you want to use your number cubes, you can. If you want to use your teddy bears, you can. If you want to use beans or macaroni, whatever you want to use as counters. Now we're going to move those counters into the parking lot. The parking lot is shaped like a 10 frame. We have one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces. So let's move our cars to the parking lot, starting with number one space. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six spots. Now we're going to trace the counters or I'm gonna make X's again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to trace the number six. Is the word six? Six. Six. The poem for six Start at the blue dot, down and a loop, six rolls a hoop. And there's our six. Ooh, look at the fair at the top. Next year, we'll have our fair again in Bishop so we can all go have fun. Page 91. We are making six. So first let's trace our six. Down and a loop, six rolls a hoop. We're going to find some ways to make six. So I have my counters. I want to know how many red ones are in the tin frame, how many yellow ones are in the tin frame. Okay, so I'm going to put my counters in. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six counters. Some are red and some are yellow, but it's still six. How many red counters do I have in my 10 frame? Let's count them. One, 
two, three, four, five. So over here, I write five. Across, down, and around. That's five that I found. So I have five red counters. How many yellow counters in my tin frame? Just one. So now I read it. Five red and one yellow. What does five red and one yellow make? Six. So now I'm gonna switch it around. See if we can figure it out. I'm gonna turn one of my counters over to make it yellow. Oh, here's my question. How many do I have all together? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right, it stayed six. I still have six counters, but I have some are red, some are yellow. How many red counters do I have now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Do you remember how to make a four? Down and across, jump up and down some more. That makes the number four. All right, boys and girls, let's count the yellow ones. One, two. We have two yellow ones. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. Let's make our two. Around and back on a railroad track. Two, two. So let's read what we have now. Four red and two yellow. What does that make? Six all together. They're just different colors, but it's still six. All right, let's see if we can figure the next one out. I'm gonna turn another one over. Let's count them. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness, I still have six. It's still the same but the colors are different now. How many red ones do I have now? One, two, three. Remember three? Start here just below the top, around a tree and around a tree. That makes the number three. So we have three reds and how many yellows in the tin frame? One, two, three, ah, three yellows. Around a tree and around a tree. That makes the number three. Okay, I'm gonna change it. Hmm, how many do I have all together? That's right, I still have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But the colors have changed again. It's still six, but I have a different amount of reds and a different amount of yellows. How many reds do we have? One, two, oh. Around and back on a railroad track. And how many yellows? One, two, three, four. Down and across, jump up and down some more. That makes the number four. So we used different colors every time, but it still made six. Page 92. Up at the top, we have three sets of popcorns. Some popcorn is in a purple container. Some popcorn is in a green container. Some popcorn is in a red container. All right, the directions read, six people each bought a bucket of popcorn. Count the buckets of popcorn in each set. Circle all the sets that show six. Okay, so you have to count and circle the ones that have six, all right? Down here, draw, to, draw a set of six. Draw to show a set of six objects. Tell about your drawing, so you can draw six of anything. Six race cars, six horses, six light bulbs, six flowers six trees, whatever you like to do. All right, this one, it's just like we did before, we're making what? Six, down and a loop, six rolls a hoop. Now you get to color, so I take out my crayons. I need a red, since I'm going to use my red and yellow counters. 
going to color one side red. This is how many red counters I have. Then, ah, come here, crayon. And this side yellow, because so I want to know how many yellow ones. Now this one, I thought it would be fun. You can just shake them like we did before. Shake, 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 shake. Drop them and put them in your tin frame. Always start from the first one. And you can put them in one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're making six. But in this tin frame, how many red ones and how many yellow ones? And then do it again. Shake it. Drop them down. Okay, have fun with that one. Number one. Trace the number. Ooh, what number is that? Six. Yep, we can even read it. S -i -x. Six. Down in a loop. Six rolls a hoop. It reads, how many more counters would you place in the tin frame to model a way to make six? Well, let's see. How many do we have? One, two, three. But we need six. So if I put one more on, how many is that? One, two, three, four. It's not six yet, so I'm going to put another one on. Now how many? One, two, three, four, five. Is that six? Not yet. Let's put another one on. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. Okay, so you can move those and you can either do an X or circle them. There we go, there's six. Number two, here's our review. Count and tell how many in each set. Compare the number. Circle the number that is less. Remember, remember less means smaller. Less means menos. Count and write the number. Count and write the number. Circle the number that is less. Menos. Down here, we're going to count and write the number. All right, so do these two on your own. And go ahead and take some pictures and send them to me so I can see your amazing work. Have fun with math.